Hello Highlands Golfers, Brady Hawkshurst here, and I wanted to take a few minutes uh, to talk to you about a new service we're offering in ball fitting. We get a lot of questions in here. People come in and say, hey, what golf ball should I play? And oftentimes, um, whoever you ask that question to is gonna recommend their favorite golf ball. We can go a step better than that now with the new program that we have. Here's one of the things that I like most about the program is that this program is put together by Ping. You know Ping is a golf club company, and here's why that's important to the conversation about golf balls is because they don't actually manufacture a golf ball. So you're getting an unbiased opinion. Uh, the idea behind this project came out of Ping's tour players, the staffers that Ping does play, were getting asked about, hey, what, what's the best golf ball? What golf ball should I play? So Ping went out and tested every golf ball on the market, the premium urethane cover golf balls that tour players might play. And they had their Ping Man robot hit shots and they gathered all kinds of data about how all the different golf balls perform and they've compiled it into this neat program called Ballnamic. So come see us and ask us about Ballnamic. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take you through, uh, we're gonna get you loosened up and hit some shots. Um, you need to hit seven or eight seven irons, seven or eight drivers. We're gonna fire up the launch monitor and get some data. You can see here I've hit seven seven iron shots. I've also hit seven drivers. I've deleted some of the miss hits, so I wanna get information about when you make a good strike, how does the golf ball perform for you? So we take all that information. If we click over on this screen, you're gonna see we have some averages. I have my driver average, I have my seven iron average. We get things like um, spin rate, launch angle. That's the important information that we need to help you gather to feed it into this database. Now, what's, what does this whole thing mean? What is ball fitting? It's pretty well known that the farther you hit the golf ball, the better chance you have to shoot lower scores. This system, first of all, revolves around finding a golf ball that's gonna maximize your distance based upon your current launch conditions. These things like ball speed, launch angle, spin rate. So we're gonna directly measure those things for you, put it into the database, and the, and the system is gonna spit out a golf ball that goes farther. We're gonna do more than that also. Ping has also built into this program some other factors that affect performance. Things like trajectory. How high do you want your golf ball to go? If you'd like to hit it higher, we're gonna put that in here. If you'd like to hit it lower, we're gonna put it in there also. Um, do you want more rollout or do you want more carry distance? So we have plenty of room within this program for you to select some preferences, things that you would like. Um, the seven iron information is going to be regarding um, how fast you'd like the golf ball to stop. Do you want to hit a higher trajectory and have it stop faster? If you're a player that has uh, balls land on the green and roll off the back, that would be helpful. But what if you're the opposite of that player? What if you don't have many balls land up on the green and you, uh, the way you play golf is to have balls land short and roll up on? So we get to select some of those metrics that are important to you. Um, we live here in Texas, and if, if you've played a lot of golf this spring, you've realized you've, you've played in a lot of wind golf balls, different golf balls will perform differently in wind. Ping has uncovered or unlocked and tested um, the differences between that. So um, if you would like help in, in controlling your ball in the wind, we, we, we click that uh, piece of information as well. So uh, another item that it takes into consideration is something called flyers. If there's a little bit of dew or moisture, uh, if you're playing early in the morning on the ball or on the club face, or if, you, you're, if you're frequently in those lies that um, create less spin and cause the ball to go farther. Different golf balls are going to react differently to flyer conditions. So we gather your launch information. We put all that in for driver, for seven iron. Uh, we do it for, uh, it asks questions about your wedge play. Um, if you want the ball to rip back or get more spin or if you have too much spin, Ping takes all those things into consideration and recommends the best golf ball for you. So I've hit some of my shots. We're gonna put some of this information uh, through this system real quick. Um, if you don't know a height preference based upon your launch conditions, Ping will calculate what's best. Um, so we're gonna say that I have a launch angle with a driver of 12 degrees. I have ball speed of 155. So we kind of ramp that up there. Spin rate with seven iron, or excuse me, with driver for me is about 27.50. Um, I'd like to hit the golf ball a little bit higher. I think that would help my performance. Um, I think that I can uh, control the ball in the wind, so I'm gonna leave it moderate there. 
We move on to the next page. We get our seven iron details input. My ball speed 116, my launch angle 19. I have just about 6,000 RPMs of spin, 6,050. Um, I'd like the golf ball to stop a lot, so I'd like to have a pretty steep landing angle. I don't want the ball to curve very much. We can select if you'd like to work the ball or if you'd like the ball to fly more straight. I'm kind of a middle of the road guy there. I think flyer importance is very important. I don't want the golf ball to jump and go real far out of differing conditions. It asks wedge details. Um, do we want more spin with a wedge or less spin with a wedge? I'm gonna say a little bit more. Um, green side spin importance on the shorter wedge shots. I want a lot more spin, we select that as well. And then um, it asks you questions about feel. Different golf balls have softer feels or firmer feels. I like a little bit more of a firm feel off the putter, so we select that. And then um, we're gonna select we want the best possible golf ball. So we feed all that information into the system. It gives you some background information here. If you wanna click pause on the video to read through that, you can. Uh, otherwise, just come see us and we'll talk to you about it in person. Uh, it tells you the confidence rate of which they have figured. They're gonna be within a couple of feet, a couple of yards on, on everything that we've input. Once we agree to all that, um, the, the golf balls in the database are primarily the premium golf balls. We're not gonna be testing the value brands here, um, or uh, it's gonna be primarily the urethane premium golf balls. So once we do all that, we get the results. It spits out a variety of golf balls um, based upon the preferences that I have put in there and how your golf ball performs. So in summary, come ask us about golf ball fitting. Um, are golf balls similar? Yes, they are, but they also have different nuances that might be able to help you in your golf game. Maybe you need more height and more stopping power. Changing golf ball can provide that. Maybe you need help in the wind. Changing golf ball might be able to provide that. Maybe you need more short game spin or softer feel around the greens. Changing golf ball will be able to do that. Come ask us about how we can help you with your game by helping you find the right golf ball using our new Ballnamic software program.